Hey guys, this is a continuation of the video where I replaced my ThinkPad hard drive with an SSD. Uh, now in the last video, uh, this was the original S uh, sorry hard drive that I had gotten that I swapped, swapped an SSD for. And so in this video, what we're going to do, we're going to replace um, the DVD disk drive for this hard drive. Now, for the purposes of this video, you could swap... Um, whatever you want for the, the disk drive. Um, th so that could be a, a hard drive or an SSD. Um, but in this case, oh, there's just kind of two things. Um, one is, uh, this is the hard drive that came from, well, that came from the original thing. So I just kind of have something here to show you. Um, but also in a lot of configurations, you know, you're gonna have your SSD for, you know, the programs that you use all the time you know, your, your boot drive, everything like that, the, the basically the files that you use all the time. And the hard drive is basically something that you would want for like an external drive in the sense that even though it's internal, it's just something you can kind of drop it, drop on for, you know, just for as personal data for, um, for long-term storage or however you want. So you kind of have this interplay between the uh, kind of the, the faster, but kind of more fragile SSD. And then you have the slower, but more durable HDD. So that's kind of the configuration we're going for. This one's not particularly big. The, the, uh, the, this is the original, like I said, and it was only like 160. Um, so in theory, you could actually have something that's like, I don't know, a terabyte or two terabytes. Um, there's a lot of interesting things you could do. Um, this is a terabyte SSD that, um, if you had another terabyte, you know, you could in theory have, you know, continual backups or something like this. There's a lot of things you could do basically is what I'm trying to say. Um, so anyways, I kind of covered why um, why someone would want to do this, but you're probably clicked on this video because you want to learn how to do this. Um, so yeah, so here's what you're going to need. You're going to need, um, well, obviously your hard drive um, or, you know, SSD or whatever you want to replace it with. Um, uh, like I said, it, most people would probably do a hard drive just because if you already put an SSD here, it's, it's just redundant um, to put, you know, two, uh, uh, two SSDs, but you can, if you want, but basically just, just any sort of drive like this, any sort of, uh, I said in the last video, but I, I'll say here a, uh, 2.5 inch, um, um, drive. So that could be a hard, you know, a hard drive like this or an SSD. The other thing you're going to need is a caddy. Now this is important. Um, I was explaining in the last video that, uh, a big thing in electronics is not just the actual uh, wiring, but also the, the mechanics. So um, you have to make sure that things fit, basically. So there's secure connections, um, especially with, the, say, a laptop like this, where, you know, you're, um, it's going to be pretty common for you to move it around. So you don't want a connection to come loose. Um, so, but even beyond that, this caddy kind of secures it in place. And as you'll see, it's the exact shape of, well, more or less exact shape of the disk drive that we're going to take out. Um, yeah, so uh, the other thing you're going to need um, is a screwdriver. So like I said in the last video, I already have a kit for um, to, for the purposes of the video for me to explain to you. I'm going to use a Phillips head zero screwdriver, although you could probably use any sort of uh, small, small Phillips head screwdriver. Um, so yeah, this caddy actually came with these four screws, so that's nice. If you don't have them, well, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, it just, it's honestly not as important as, um, it just depends on the caddy, but I'll, I think this one's the most common. I don't know what it's called, but you could probably get it on Amazon or eBay uh, pretty easily. Um, so like I said, mine came, mine came with these, so um, it's fine. It should come with it is my, kind of my point. Um, but if it doesn't, it, maybe the caddy is more advanced. I've, I mean, I have some problems maybe I'll talk about it at the end of the video, but yeah. So yeah, those are the things you need. Oh, and obviously a ThinkPad, um, T420, uh, which is what we're doing in this video. Okay. So anyways, um, the first thing you want to do is turn off your ThinkPad. Now I've already done that. So, you know, turn off your ThinkPad, make sure that, um, Make sure that there's nothing running. Make sure you've uh, saved everything because this time we're going to be good boys. And uh, don't worry, <laughs> that's something else. That's not, that's not the fans of this thing, Pad, but it's off. But yeah, this time around, we're going to be actually be good boys 
and take out the battery. So you're going to want to do this to avoid any sort of electrical discharge um, that, that might occur. Um, so on ThinkPads, it's pretty easy. You know, you just, you know, um, press on this latch and then pull it out. Um, so there we go. So, <clears throat> like I said, we're going to be taking out the DVD drive. So to do that, um, there's this unlock latch, and then this, I guess, latch um, is used to push the disk drive out. So I'll try to do my best here. I'll try my best to do it on a camera. Okay. So here, it got pushed out, as you can see. So we slide this out. And so here it is. Here's your disk drive. Okay. Now, for this particular caddy, oops, for this particular caddy, um, I've already tested this. An important step, which I don't know how many people online have kind of talked about this but since they came with four screws it's very important that you um, put the screws um, on the side here now why well it's kind of annoying but otherwise um, it just won't fit it won't have a snug fit uh, i wish this caddy um i wish this caddy had some way to actually like mount the screws onto the onto the drive Kind of like how the caddy was um, um, over here for, for, I guess, where we put the SSD. The, uh, the stock caddy has a way to actually screw these things on. But I guess this one just uses friction. All right. So, like I said, try, I'm trying to do my best to do on a camera. Maybe I'll fast forward the video. Or maybe some good S ASMR, not sure. <laughs> All right, so there we have it. We have, we screwed in these screws on the side here. You can see one, two, three, four. There we go. All right, so kind of like it says on here, you want to lift this kind of tab here, um, drop the caddy in. Oh, sorry, drop the hard drive in. Um, I forgot to mention, so, you know, if you're kind of confused which orientation it should go, it should be kind of obvious. Here's kind of this shorter piece. Here's kind of this longer one. So you kind of just line it up. Here's a longer one, longer one, you know, just drop it in like that. All right, and then you just slide it in, as the second step shows. Um, and then bring it down. So there we go. So other, so here's the, the important thing too so that I, should, I wanted to comment on. If you don't have the screws, the fit isn't tight enough. So actually, if even if when it's when this tab is in this down position, when you turn the thing upside down, the uh, the hard drive will actually fall out. And uh, now I didn't drop it when I first uh, kind of had this issue, but the thing is, I. I you know, can could just kind of uh, held it, and I could just feel it falling off. And the thing is, the, the the main problem with that too is even if it doesn't fall off or anything like that, and you know, hit the ground or whatever. Um, even if it's just sagging like that, with, you know, hanging on by a thread, kind of like that. Um, the problem is, I imagine that that would mess up the connections after a while. So I found this is my own personal experience, but when I put these four screws in that it actually works. See, so like this gives an instructions to um, to put screws in on the side, but I never found them. You know, if uh, if anyone knows what that's referring to, please tell me. Because uh, I had kind of looked and I hadn't seen anywhere where I could actually uh, screw the caddy on on the, the mount points here on the drive. 
So anyways, uh, this part's pretty easy. All you want to do is orient it the right way. So there's kind of the hole. There's kind of that, uh, I don't know what to call this, um, this kind of lip here. So you just kind of match it up with the lip on here. And um, there you go. You just kind of slide it in and it locked into position. And then we put the battery back. And uh, yeah, that should uh, that should be it. And uh, I imagine in uh, the next video, the continuation of this video, I'll actually show you how this uh, looks like on Linux. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it for today. I had, <laughs> I realized I already complained about the kind of some of the caddy flaws of this particular one. I don't, I'm not sure what company it is or whatever, but. Uh, I'll put it down in the description. Because like I said, I already complained about that. Um, the only other thing I could say, I kind of mentioned it a little bit at the beginning, um, but maybe it's maybe it's, it's interesting for some people. But I, like I said, I imagine that most people who clicked on this video, they clicked on it from so, some sort of search and uh, they already want to do this and they just want to know how. Or maybe they are thinking about it and uh, they want to see how hard it is. It's not very hard at all as you saw um but maybe some people i hope this information with some people who didn't even know that this is a thing and if you didn't know this is a thing um well now you do but more importantly maybe you're wondering why would anyone want to do this um so i actually did a retake of this video where i kind of rambled about rambled more about this in the beginning um but I just feel like not a lot of people use the disk drive. I mean, disk drives is something was something that was more popular. Um, I guess I should say disk drives were more popular um, even like ten years ago, twenty years ago, and uh, it's just something that's uh, that's not uh, that's not as used anymore. I mean, I mean. Like, yeah, it just I think I think that's the case for most people, especially today. And a big thing about disk drives too is that they just take so much power. I mean, if there's nothing in the disk, I don't know how much power they are idle. So maybe it doesn't make a difference. But um, I just think it's useful to have a at least in this configuration that I have here an SSD, you know, for uh, for programs and for for most things really. And then just having a hard drive that's basically an external drive that's just always plugged in, basically. Um, so, you know, I'm still kind of thinking about it in some interesting configurations within Linux, you know, in terms of, uh, you know, not, not simply just like auto mounting with FS tab or something like that. But, um, but even like, I'm, you know, you, you look at, like I said, you could even do some more interesting things like, I don't know, have even two SSDs and say, okay, one of them, you know, that I replaced with my disk drive. That's where I'm going to put uh, my home, my, uh, my home drive, you know? And so all you have to do. Um, for like a new uh, Linux installation, or I know Luke Smith uh, was kind of experimenting with OpenBSD. At least at the time of recording this video, he's just experimenting. Who knows if he'll make a tutorial later on? But um, maybe someone like him, you know, if you if you know, so, so a configuration like this, all you have to do is just mess around with here with another install of another operating system. But here you have um, you have another uh, drive with. Uh, with with all your personal data or something like that, so there's a lot of this. Just it just gives you more flexibility, basically. Uh, I think for most people, the optimal um, kind of the optimal configuration in terms of bang for your buck is ha maybe have a smaller, faster but more fragile uh, SSD here, and then let's say a, a bigger, um, slower, more durable um, uh, hard drive here. You know. Um, yeah, so you know, you just kind of you know your daily stuff here. But if you want bigger um, long term storage, you could just drop it in over here. So yeah, I just kind of wanted to kind of mention that, um, and not kind of front load that front load at the beginning of the video. But um, yeah, there's uh, there's uh, there's there's some there's some info for you. Um, so anyways, if you haven't seen my last video where I replaced the SSD, go ahead and watch that. Um, but yeah. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll uh, see you in the next one. Bye.